I'm here to tell you about the only power bank you're ever going to need. You can chuck away all the other ones you have, as this one I have in front of me is a 140 watt high speed anchor power bank. If you are new here, you know what you need to do, hit the subscribe button, like this video and comment down below what you think of this. And if you think it's really good, go ahead and share it with your friends. The link to the product is in the description below, so feel free to check it out. Back to the product at hand, how many times have you had your power bank down and not had enough charges within, or it doesn't have the right connection, so you might need a USB-C or USB-A or vice versa? Well, with this, those problems are no more. This is the Anker 737, and we're gonna be taking a look at this today. This power bank has an incredible 24,000 milliamps. It has two USB-C ports and one USB-A port. Now, this does give you power delivery 3.1, which allows a maximum of 240 watts, but this power bank is set for 140, which is shared across all three. I will be doing some tests later to see some charge times and just to see what sort of wattage we are getting to some of the devices, so I'll share those results with you shortly. As you can imagine, 140 watts, everything will charge fairly quickly. But that said, not everything will use 140 watts. Let me tell you what comes inside the box. You have the power bank itself, which as I mentioned, you have the USB-C at the top and USB-A, the top one is an input and output, and that one is just an output. You get a USB-C charging cable. Now, it doesn't come with the charger itself. It does say at the top here, max 140 watts, so it does have a maximum output on here. And you get a nice carry case to go with this. So just to keep it nice and tidy and keep everything together, this comes with it as well. Just to give you a closer look at the power bank, there's a button on the side here which turns on the screen at the front. This shows you the battery power on here, and I'll show you another screen once I plug some devices in in a second. You can press it again, and you have the temperature of the power bank, what the percentage is, the wattage in, wattage out, and also the number of cycles. So that's also on here, which can be quite useful. The other thing, the final thing is the auto screen off. So if you wanna keep the screen on for a little while, you can do, or if you wanna turn it off, you can also do that as well. Also, the other handy thing is there is a gyroscope on here as well. So if I turn this upside down, you can see that that's also flipped the other way. So the screen itself can turn to whatever position you are using. So let me give you a quick demo with the devices I have down here. Now I have all three devices plugged in. You can see it's around 50 watt for the laptop, seven watts for the phone, and 1.5 watts for this. Uh, you can see how long on the left-hand side, how long it's gonna take for the battery to drain 100%. And also, it's worthwhile noting, there is a, a double tap button on the right-hand side, which you'll see a little green dot that appears just here. That basically means it trickle charges, so it doesn't give as much power into the power into the device. For the first test, what I'm gonna do is my battery on my laptop is now down to about 1%. The one on my phone is, you can probably see on the screen, is about down to 5%. And my watch, unfortunately, hasn't died as much, but that one is down to 46%. So what I'm actually gonna do is pop these three on charge, and I'm gonna give you a rough estimate in terms of how long they take to charge. Once I've done that, we'll see how much is left on the power bank and then we'll plug it into the mains and see how long it will take to recharge. So we go ahead and we take our USB-C into the out, pop that in here, and then we'll plug this into the laptop, which is just here. You can see the number two wattage is already starting to build up, it's so around 30 watts at the moment. For the iPhone cable, we'll pop that into the USB-C as well, which is just there, and then into the back of the phone. So that's also charging, that's taking a little bit from there. And the final one, we'll pop the USB-A type in there and we'll pop that onto my watch. And you can see that's now charging too. With all three devices now plugged in, you can see the wattage on the screen climbing. And at the moment, it will currently last around about one hour, 20 minutes um, for this power bank to die if these weren't all fully charged by that point. But let's leave this and see how long they take to charge. And I can tell you from my phone already, that is already at 10%. So that's already climbed 5% already. And my laptop is climbing just as quick. So let's leave that. Let's see how we get on and let's come back to the results. So after about 50 minutes, the power bank, you can probably see on the screen, has actually gone to 0%. So it, it's, it seems a bit warm, but it's not that warm. Now, I'm actually a little bit surprised with the results at the moment. So my phone is sat at 80% and my Apple Watch is sat at 81%, and my laptop is charged at 60%. But what we will do is we'll quickly pop the USB-C cable into the input, and let's see how long it takes to fully charge this power bank. 
So I don't have the full 140 watt power adapter, but I do have the 96 watt MacBook Pro one. So I'm gonna pop this into my charger and see how long this takes. Let's go ahead and plug this in. So we're just hovering around 87 watts at the moment, and you can see that's gonna take just over an hour to fully charge that. So I'm gonna leave this for a little while. There you go, it's gone up to 86. So it's, it's slowly climbing up to the 96 mark now. I think if it was the full 140, it'd probably take about 45 minutes to charge fully, but this is gonna take just about an hour. So let's see how long exactly this takes. So we'll give it a quick time and how long it actually takes. So you can see this is sat at now 100%, and that took approximately about 50 to 55 minutes to fully charge. Now, like I said, it is a 96 watt charger. I don't have anything more powerful to see if I can get up to 140 watts, unfortunately. But as I mentioned, it'll probably take about 40 to 45 minutes to fully charge. So in this, you can pretty much take this around with you and to fully charge it, it takes 45 minutes to an hour. Now, in terms of your devices, you saw that I managed to charge my laptop up to 60%. I managed to charge my phone up to 80%. And I also managed to charge my watch up to 90% until the battery ran out in this. Overall, if you're looking for a quick charge power bank with something with a reasonable amount of power, which is what this has, and you need your devices charging quickly, then this is the one for you. The price in the UK currently is 139.99 and I've dropped the link down in the description below to Amazon. It is linked to my Amazon affiliate account, so it does make me a little bit of commission to help me bring you more videos like this. Let me know your thoughts down in the description below, what you think of this, if you would use one, or whether there's another one that you think that would be better than this. For now, this is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.